I guess hey, you are. Don't light me on fire. Oh. Right, so I got to see. What do you bring in this big goddamn cumbersome <laughs> plastic bag? Cornish hens. And they're going all that. It's a little put. baby chicken. It's a little baby chicken. Say, oh, ho, ho. Welcome to the grumpy camping holiday edition. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hey, right, today we're just gonna do a little bit of moto camping. Uh, we worked all day, we're just gonna, went to a local spot, gonna chill out, don't know if we're gonna get kind of crazy or just be kind of mellow. I know Timmy's got some good food, so we'll just get into whatever we get into. So y'all follow along. Stay tuned. Hey, but first, let me let, me let y'all see Timmy's bike today. And we actually rode here with the bike. So you see my bike right there. Just my normal stuff. Look at Timmy's bike today, y'all. Look at this. He's got, who, who knows what's all in here. I'm just gonna let him break all that out, but you see how stacked up it is. I thought it might rain, so I pecked to some of my stuff, but y'all see later what this is. He's got bags all over it, stuff it's all over it. It's Christmas, there. everybody, so you know, gotta have a little surprise. Yeah, so like I said, we're just gonna uh, set up everything and see what we get into. It's all we can do. So let's get after it. Men like us wrap shit in plastic bags for Christmas. <laughs> we need to get that in there because I'm going to show you. you know, I, want, I think it's a straight good thing. Let's see how you're going to do it again. Get that on here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to talk no more. Thank you. Yo. I might take my Santa Claus hat off for a minute. Well, there's our basic camp set up, as y'all seen. Couple little tents. Me and Timmy both said we're kind of out of practice. It's been a little while since we've been moto camping. Oh, uh, not because we hadn't wanted to, really. The weather's been kind of crappy. Um, hadn't really been motivated, for lack of better words, I guess. But we have, we're gonna have fun. We're here. We're gonna have fun, and we hope y'all get entertained. Or it might be mellow. Like I said, I don't know if we're gonna be crazy or mellow. We never know either. We just go with the flow. Yeah. So Timmy's got his little camp chair. If anybody here wants a little good little camp chair, these are kind of heavy, but that's uh from Walmart. They're pretty good, decent little chairs. I just now picked me one up too. So, and I don't know if you want a Magellan tent, I'll get you one of them. But something else I'm gonna try tonight too. And believe it or not, just because it's warm right now, I got me a new sleeping bag, Teton Sports, zero degree. Like I said, don't don't let it fool you. It's uh. Pretty warm now, we're in t-shirts and stuff, but it's supposed to get down to like 40 degrees, I think, Timmy, maybe? 38, 40 somewhere around 35 to 40, you said? Because we are up in the mountain a little bit, so I don't know, we'll make the best of it. Finish getting everything unpacked, that's what we need to do right now. All right, now we finally get to see what Timmy brought in this big old trash bag right here. He said he sells a surprise. for you, Greg. Yeah, he sells a surprise, so I got to see. What do you bring in this big goddamn cumbersome <laughs> plastic bag? What you got? Huh? All right, here he goes. Drum roll. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> crazy. Look at well, that. He carried a goddamn Dutch oven I even on, on his motorcycle. I even on a re-seasoned it before I brought it so it wouldn't have much trouble. Look, a gigantic Dutch oven off of a motorcycle. Bling, bling. We'll tour around the campsite here. First time we ever camped at this little campsite. Obviously it's a free campsite. You know, you got this little grass area with your, set your tents up on. Got a kick-ass fire pit right there. Whoever built that thing was awesome. Yeah. All of our stuff set up. Got a cool little parking area. You ain't supposed to carry no bikes down here. So we try to abide by the rules. And then right down here, you got Creek, which is pretty neat. 
ain't a big creek, but it's pretty clean, clear water. So it's warmer time of the year. You could get on here and take you a little hoe bath, splash off like a little bird, whatever you want to do. But a little cool little area. Get some drinking water out of there if you got your filter like I do. Cool little area. It's pretty cool back in here. It's like real jungly looking. Of course, all the leaves are off the trees because it is almost December. So might be our last moto camp for Christmas. So we're bringing y'all the holiday cheer. Maybe we'll sing a little song for you or something later. You want to sing a song for them later? Hell yeah, why not? So I think it'll one. I've been thinking, but I gotta y'all go let me surprise you. Yeah. I surprised myself. So yeah. we ain't got our Christmas hats on right now, but that will come here shortly once we get everything settled down. Because this is holiday moto camping, grumpy style. Yeah. Now we're in the spirit. See listen. Now we say, ho, 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 welcome to the Grumpy Camping Holiday Edition. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're fully aware that it's not Christmas yet, but it is December when this video is getting released. So we just want all y'all to have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. And a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm, for sure. We'll get some holiday, we're holiday cheermeisters today. <laughs> That's right. Here it is, everybody. Timmy's going to show me. And show us what he's got for us today. What you got first? Well, a little bit of frozen Brussels sprouts. Right. Just because I had to have my green. Brussels sprouts. What's next? A little butter. Okay, butter. I mean, yeah. a lot of butter. Yeah, a lot of butter. What else is next? Uh, the billet tool. A couple of whole potatoes. So me and Greg maybe eat one. He might throw his away if it ain't done. <laughs> so this time I'm going to make sure it's done. All right, there you go. Uh, a little onion to drop what in there. You got? Some seasonings. All right, onion season. And a couple of Cornish hens. All right, there it is, everybody. See them uncooked later, they'll be cooked. Cornish hens. And they're going, all oh, that's going to get put. It's a little baby chicken. It's a mm. little baby chicken. Little baby chicken. <laughs> all that's going to go in the Dutch oven, he says, and we're going to cook it all up. Yep. Stay tuned. Hey, that damn potato better be done. That's when it's going in that creek over there. Yeah, my might too this time. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it raw. So, so I'll be sure. Y'all ain't seen that video. It's in here. It's we, Moto we, Camping Oasis, if you want to see but, that. I threw that but, potato away. He said it's gonna be better today, though. In my defense, we was in a little bit of a hurry, had a long day of riding, so I had to make it happen. All right, yeah. So I wasn't complaining though. No, so we don't we're gonna see what. Oh yeah, we got one more thing. Hold on. Show them the other thing. We got one more thing to eat. Something new. Jalapeno pinto beans. Oh, the jalapeno oh, and bacon Lord. pinto beans. I hope those are good. So there we go. Mine's just a quick camp cut, but got a little more of that kicking chicken. A little salt. A little pepper. There it is, let's see. That's what it looks like inside. <laughs> I don't think I want to see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Y'all want to see that? Sorry, that's not the normal thing. It's pretty, pretty big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Little bird, yeah. see the wings and the little ears. <laughs> there you go. That's what it looks like so far. I'll let that cook a little bit more. We'll show you how it's coming along. It's gonna take a minute. It smells good already. See what it looks like so far. Fast forward. There's other yeah. memes to do this, y'all, but we have to do what we have to do. Boiling in there. Got a little close up of that little baby chicken. Hmm. That looks pretty delicious, y'all. Yeah. All right. While we're uh, waiting for this food to finish cooking, which I'm starving, so I hope that's pretty soon. Um. Just want to ask y'all a question, something that random thought popped into my head. What kind of camping do y'all like? Do you like like dispersed camping, paid campgrounds, whatever? Like we like dispersed camping, which or you call it wild camping, whatever. Camping on government land, which is not really free because we pay taxes, but you get the point. Like these kind of campsites like this is sort of out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if it's really all of them ain't out in the middle of nowhere, but you get what I'm saying. Just there ain't Good. no phones working. Yeah, no phone, no phone service, stuff like that. Just being out in the middle of nowhere. Do you like that kind of stuff? If you do, drop a comment down below and just tell us. But Or do you like paid campgrounds, like in a state park or something like that where you pay 10, 15, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever they cost a night to camp. Do you like that kind of stuff better? Do so you feel safer? Or are you a hotel person? Do you like staying in a hotel everywhere you go, no matter where you're going to ride. If you're going on a one day ride, two day ride, three day ride, do you like to hotel it? Do you like to disperse camp it? Or do you like paid campgrounds? So drop that comment down below and tell us because 
we just like getting some inter uh, interaction with y'all and some feedback because i kind of find it interesting to see what everybody else is doing really don't you right because i want to see what everybody else is doing yeah i got to see what y'all doing too yeah i just kind of i think it's interesting I so feed off everything yeah so just drop that comment down below and let us let us know what you do how you roll and let's get this food done because my belly's gonna roll up over my face and eat me because i'm starving to death starving this, po this potato better be good i'm telling you see what the chicken turned out like hope y'all got enough light to see there it is uh, uh, uh. smells good oh well, there you go there's the finished product a nice cooked cornish hen some brussels sprouts potatoes a little bit of onions in there taste test beans grumpy licious or grump -alicious. Yeah, we'll say grump -alicious. grump alicious Remember jalapeno, bacon, pinto beans. All right, here's the biggest thing. We'll go with this first, or second, the potato. It's done this time. Good job, you, Timmy. I told you it would be. <laughs> it was also delicious, or grumpy licious, grump alicious, and the chicken. It's a big deal here. It's Cornish hen delicious, boy. Woohoo! <laughs> Not we're starving too, son. Everything's done this time. Delicious. All right, everybody. Food was delicious, as always. Timmy killed it with the Cornish hens and the potatoes. Hey, the potatoes actually done this time, which is even better. Um, I don't know how much more light we're going to have to film, as you can see. And we're going to get all that figured out before the end of the year because we're going to do a lot of motor camping during the winter and we want to bring y'all the best videos possible. So, We'll figure all that out. So I don't know if we're going to film too much more tonight. So we're just going to sit around the fire and chill. And we'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> look, we got us a little torch. Y'all see? Oh, God. Well, y'all see us? Yeah, look at that. I tried this. We got that. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. <laughs> we got the light. God got us by the light of Watch out for that tree, George. <laughs> by George, the... George, George. <laughs> well, let's see if we... Oh yeah, that gets hey, you uh, uh, Don't light me on fire. What? Sorry, y'all. It's just a man-made thing. <laughs> Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run around the fire tonight. Whoa, why won't, why won't it burn? <laughs> I don't know. Plump bitch torch. Merry Christmas. <laughs> all right, good morning, everybody. We got a little bit of sleep last night. It's, uh, a chilly 35, 38 degrees, somewhere around there. So it's pretty cold. But to report back to you on the Teton Sport sleeping bag, it's a zero degree sleeping bag, it worked pretty good. Uh, my feet got a little chilly because my tent's so low at the bottom, my feet actually touch it a little bit. But I put on some thicker socks, it's good to go. So pretty happy with it. A lot better setup than I had last year, that's for sure. So should be able to do some good winter camping now. But waking up to the beautiful campsite, as y'all can see. Yep, All good and cloudy it. still, but Timmy's making him some uh, boiling some water for coffee. I'm actually gonna make some grits, and that's about it, ain't it? Yep, and we'll pack it up and hit the road again. Yeah, so it was just a little short overnight camp trip to sort of burn off some stress from work life, I guess, would be go work or whatever you want to say. This life, I know that's good. the reason a lot of people do it, and that's the reason we do it just to burn off a lot of stress and anxiety whatever you want to call it all that stuff so hope y'all enjoyed the video i know it was probably a short one we didn't get into a lot of crazy stuff but sometimes you just got to go out and chill that's all it's about so if you hadn't already hammer the shit out of that subscribe button you hammer the shit out of it. and that notification bell follow along with us help us grow and uh we'll be coming back with plenty more videos i promise so see y'all in the next one